Hey guys, John from Fight Camp Bootcamps and Personal Training. Just doing a quick update on the 8 week body transformation vlog since I haven't managed to type up the updates in a while. I've just been so busy with the end of the 6 week block at Fight Camp and dealing with everyone's kind of personal training plans for the summer. So, last couple of weeks we've been working, I've just been sticking everything the same. Um, a little bit boring, just because with my work schedule starting at 7, maybe not finishing until 8, 9 o'clock at night. There's just not a chance of a lot of variety, um, especially if I'm only going to cook cook once. Um, but what I have been doing is every dinner that I cook at night will be my lunch and maybe a snack the next day. So what I do is I buy in a little bit of bulk and just make enough to put in Tupperware and have it the next day, um, maybe once or twice. So that takes care of two meals. So as long as you're changing your dinner most nights or changing from the, the, the three different food groups, your protein, your legumes and your veg, then it's... It, it works, I mean it, it works. If, you want, if you've got a little bit extra time, then you can add a hell of a lot more variety. Um, one of the key saving graces, particularly if you're on a budget and you're stuck for time, is Asda have Safeway, Morrison's, whatever, Tesco, probably get different versions of the same thing, but Mexican style bean mix. So it's just mixed beans, no sugar, um, just in water. Okay, I think it runs at about 28 pence. Um, chopped tomatoes. Okay, also running about 15, 20 pence. Now, these with your lean protein and your mixed veg at night, instant meal, taking care of your carbohydrates, your fibre intake for, well, the beans are pretty high in fibre. Um, so if you've got gastrointestinal problems, beware. But they're pretty high in fibre and it takes care of like two to three meals for the next day as well. So um, pretty easy to do. Next week sees the end of the 8 week body transformation with the extra week because I was ill so I'll be getting the results, Seth will be doing the results um, for us and we'll get them posted on the site as well. Just wanted to give you a couple of kind of what I've taken from the the, the 8 weeks. Uh, Timothy Ferris, when he, when he wrote it, that chapter um, on the slow carb diet, it was for people that weren't training. So one of the things I found hard was when I was doing a double or even a triple session, if I had to teach spin as well, was to keep my energy levels topped up. And if you forget or you didn't have time to add in the beans into a couple of your meals, then you got very lethargic. Sometimes I'm coach, coaching or teaching spin, I was getting a little lightheaded as well. So as I said, he it was based on people that weren't training. It was just a minimal effective dose as he kind of coined it. Um, and it was for people that just wanted to lose weight via diet. So... Over the next couple of weeks, in line with the next fight camp that's coming up, what I'm going to be doing is taking this low-carb diet, looking into the paleo, uh, or more into paleo diet, and seeing how we can get the same effect to inhibit the kind of insulin response as much as we can from what we eat, all right, but still able to fuel the workouts, fuel your recovery, and make sure that you're not feeling lethargic, but you're feeling actually recovered and ready to go for the next workout. Um, so that's going to be coming up, so watch this space. Um, what I also wanted to do was because when I said or when I launched on the blog that I was doing the slow carb diet, quite a lot of people kind of followed suit and uh, um, looking on Facebook, looking on a couple of people from the camp and also personal training clients I've been kind of following. What I'd like for you to do is to write in your experiences on the slow carb diet, any problems you had, any successes you had, the kind of weight loss that you maybe um, managed to achieve. But also, big thing is... One of the things that I found was, if I didn't have time, was to make the meals very, very interesting. I was eating the same meals week in, week out. I changed them every night, but again, it was just regurgitated. Same thing. So, if you have any slow-carb recipes, then I would love to hear them. And I'm sure everyone else on Fight Camp Blog that's thinking about or has already started the slow-carb diet would love to hear it as well. Okay, well, watch this space. Next week should have the results. Uh, for you and you can judge yourself whether it's worth doing. Okay, cheers guys.